I do have a, a little fledging um, painting company. I'm not the best at PowerPoint, but I put it together and uh, let's see, there we go. We started with this uh, exterior here and you know, you, you never know how it's gonna look. It looks one way on your computer and then it looks different when you get to, to um, your speaking engagement, but that is actually in my neighborhood on Canterbury Lane. And it was nice and big. <laughs> Well, anyway, when you're doing an exterior, um, a big important part of the job can be doors because they're, they're at eye level and it's something that they, they can go up and they touch and they feel them. And so anyway, we, we took off the front doors and we, and we sprayed them and it seemed more in focus, you know, uh, last night on my computer, but from, <laughs> from 20 feet it looks a little hazy, but anyway. And these colors came from um, Dunn Edwards, and they have a colorist there that you can go for a charge. It'll help you pick out colors, and it's a really great service. There's no charge for it. You take in your phone, and you show them a picture of your house, and she kind of guides you through it, and she did a really good job of that. And then here's the side door, and that was a metal door, and metal doors are really difficult to brush and roll, so we like to spray them, so they, you know, they come out really kind of neat. Um, and then they have a French side door that goes into the kitchen, and so we sprayed that because it, it, it's just quicker and faster. And that's kind of like you know, with the process we were tape, we were pulling tape at the time. Um, yeah, we create a tremendous amount of uh, paper and, and tape. We're probably not the most ecological company you ever thought of, but well, you know, that's just how it goes. Um, because people like the final product. So anyway, we do a lot of Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, and we do a lot of interior and exterior, and this is, and we just finished this job yesterday. Um, and there's those front doors, right there. Yeah, came out nice. Hardware's back on, um, lights back up. Uh, there's no paint residue on the walkway, and everything it looks like it's supposed to be floor mat back in place without a bunch of drips all over it. So that's people are touchy about the drips on the floor mat. It doesn't. You don't get very many <laughs> good reviews. They don't like that extra paint? You know, no, they don't. They don't care about that. Um, and sometimes um, we get asked to do a, like a commercial tilt-up or a commercial building like in Costa Mesa and Huntington Beach and even in Fountain Valley. You know, there's quite a few of that low um, manufacturing, low um, density uh, industry kind of over here maybe by um, Ward and Ellis. Mm -hmm. You know, McFadden and Springdale, um, Placentia and 19th-ish, you know, those, those areas yeah. that they, you know, now they want to tear them down and let's put up, you know, three-story buildings and really get some, get some tax base going. But anyway, that's another story. So anyway, we got, uh, we're power washing this building and that was on Tuesday. So <laughs> we're kind of in the middle of this thing. Um, you got to power wash, you got to get all the grime and grit and junk off off the building. Um, preparation is really an important part of our business because paint has the tendency to stick better and stay on and last a long time if, um, if you have a clean surface. And if you don't, then it's going to peel and look weird and you're not going to get a five-star review. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you can actually even see that, but there's, you can't, over on the right, um, a, we've masked off all those windows. Where's that little pointy thing? Yeah, they broke it. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, there, we masked off all those lower windows there. Anyway. Am I boring you? I can see it. John Lee. I can see it. I'm doing good. How am I doing, Jeff? You're doing great. First time guy. You know, hey. kind of <laughs> it's called Jump the New Guy. That's a, <laughs> it's a technique. Um, That's your answer is. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> Well, it looks really, really bright and, and picturesque, but when you do kitchens, you do a lot of kitchens, um, and there are a tremendous amount of work, you know, and this is just the prime phase, but you see how we had to mask off, and why doesn't this pointy thing work? Where does that thing? Maybe it needs a new battery. Oh, I don't know. 
red dot. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there it is. Push that button. Point anywhere near where it is. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Pointy thing works. Pointy thing works. Okay. So, see that and that and that and that and that and all these little spots. So that's where a door was, but you don't want to get paint on the pre on the interior of these cabinets are pre finished. So you got to mask them off, and then. They don't like to get paint on their existing, you know, tile floor or whatever floor. So we got to mask all all that off. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, but it's they really are um, neat. And you see, these are all the drawers <coughs> and the doors. And I should probably turn the lights out, but that's okay. See, all these <coughs> takes up a bunch of room. We got to mask off all that that stuff. Um, ceiling work, you can see how we have to protect an existing um, island here. Mm. Right there's, you know, so we don't want to get paint on all that. So we've got to cover all that up and all this existing things here and, and run this ceiling. Um, plastic and tape is really, really important to us. And a new thing is, is that, you know, blue tape is an awesome tape that it you can leave it on for, you know, maybe supposedly up to 14 days. I don't recommend that. And then you pull it, it won't pull <coughs> the existing surface off or the paint off. But they've changed the formula just a little bit. And you know, people are coming in with the new floors um, with that manufactured um, wood look. And that blue tape is attacking that finish. And we don't know why, but we're, now we're going to have to move to the delicate tape. Um, which is it costs us a little bit more, but it's just something that's kind of like, huh, it's let us down a little bit just recently. And, and, and it's a really a bummer because when you're pulling tape, you're at the end of the thing. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh no, come over here, John, take a look at this. There's the entry and then that's the oak floor and then the finish came off. You're like, oh shoot. And, and I, said, I said, oh shoot, I really did. I didn't do so. <laughs> 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 We're a professional company. We're a professional company. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I, gosh darn it. Anyway, we did this blue kitchen with a, um, a blackish glaze, and that one on the left looked really good last night. Uh, something to think about when you bring your presentation here. You might want to. Yeah. What can I say? Looks good, John. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. That was a fun thing, you know, because this lady on the outside of the house, she we don't paint a whole lot of blue houses, and she did like a San Francisco blue, you know, one of those super bright blues, like, whoa. Yeah. So different. Yeah. She wants to stick out. So I think this might be my, my last slide. Slide. You hear that? Who yeah. says slide anymore? Is yeah. there some fiction yeah. you searched? No, but I do have a, a yeah. picture of um, a black rhino from my trip to South Africa. There you go. Try to paint that. Did you paint that black? That's a moving target. That was pretty cool, man. There's, they're, they're very rare, and uh, this reserve has a black rhino, and we got a chance to, you know, to take a picture of it. How's it taste? Oh, wow. So anyway, if you're looking to hire a professional yeah. company that will come out and, and, and protect your existing uh, hardscape and landscape and your interior furniture and floors and stuff, I, I suggest you uh, speak to me and uh, we'll be trying to schedule and I've got a whole bunch of people in the room here that I've done work for and I'm really happy. Are there any questions at this time? No questions? <coughs> Question. So I, I have, uh, I don't know if you've been by my house lately, but uh, our, our front door is south facing, right. faces the ocean and all that kind of stuff. It gets beat up like crazy. We've always had like trouble with moisture of the door and it bubbles the, mm -hmm. like, that front there. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever been able to solve that. Autumn. John okay, Cam. so in your house, I remember the door's like chocolate brown. Yes. Okay, that's that's one strike against you. Uh, dark, dark color, it's going to get hot. You know, so to solve that, you need to go maybe a little bit lighter, or even, you know, and, and, and maybe you don't want to, but as long as you have that chocolate brown and it's south facing and you go with a high gloss paint, 
Um, <coughs> it's gonna bubble. What do you recommend? I have White. to start negotiating with my wife. <laughs> White. White. Okay, well, yeah. far in the White spectrum is like you, would, you, know, you make it wide and, and try and maybe even go into, instead of not flat, but one or two steps up from that. So it's not as glossy. That has a bit, doesn't bubble as much, you know. Yeah, you could do something like that. So how would you approach, you know, getting, you have to get that paint off, right? Well, we could sand it, you know, and then put, um, a quality primer on it and go from there. I mean, the ultimate way would be to take off all the paint and and repaint, reprime and paint, and it still could happen. Yeah. It's just the nature of the beast that okay. like you have there. And a white door is going to give you the best performance. Okay. The least performance wow. is black. I also door. heard him say something about a colorist at Dun Edwards that you could get yeah, orange. Yeah. And, Walmart. And Walmart. Chocolate Walmart. Brown. She's not going to think in terms of like, you know, maintenance or. Um, bubble factor, I, I doubt. You know, she really isn't going to. She's going to give you the best look for your house, which may be the vector. I don't know, something lighter, maybe a yellow or something that's more of a color, because it's kind of like gets lost in there, in that little cove. You know, you don't see your front door when I drive by. I drive by your house all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, what's he going to do? Why is that door? stalker? Why is that stalker? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he driving by all the time? One day I'm going to be coming to an elementary school or something. Oh, no. School got shot right in the Okay, another question. Any other questions? Yeah, how far are you booked out right now? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yeah. Pretty good. Guy. How long do you recommend um, putting keep so no the chance of getting that door by a fourth of July? It looks really sad. Yeah, there is, there is a few standards. How long do you, you recommend actually keep on a red tape. door for a fourth of July? But someone will want to keep that blue tape on that one. You said 14 <laughs> days. Right. Right. Seven. Seven days. But, I mean, what you want to do is tape is as soon as you can take it off, take it off. Yeah. You don't want to just like, oh, it'll be fine, it looks great, you know, it might come Very back and up. Like, you put tape on, it's, it's your friend and your foe. It's always doing something. It's, it's in there actively. Little gremlins are in there going, oh, let's attack this existing surface. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. J. I'm just, I'm just goofy that way. Yes, sir. Well, you know, you know, a guarantee, like if someone comes back three or four months later and says, my front door is bubbling, will you go back and fix it? Or Yeah, absolutely. Well, only you know, three years. If it's not shocking, yeah. my front door is bubbling. Yeah, it's all crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. we talk about the stuff. I mean, it's usually yeah. it was some, it's kind of like, you know, I know I'm always saying you no, know, and my wife's been asking me not to do that. So um, we paint a lot of garage doors, and a lot of the roll up doors now are a vinyl or an aluminum, and people are hesitant to paint them. But if they're cleaned and they're lightly sanded, and then you prime them and you two coat them, I haven't had anybody call me back and say, hey, you know, my door is peeling on me. I, or they don't call me back. I don't know which one it is. I know. <laughs> I've, I've learned. The I've learned the hard. I've learned the hard way. You don't go on a fishing expedition and go, "Hey, how's that door doing for you? <laughs> is it peeling? Yeah, it is. Okay, get over here, Pat." But um, it really lasts. It really lasts because the thing what happens is someone's like, "No, no, no, just power wash it. The door's fine. I just got it. It lasts three years, you know, and there's a little pitting, and you paint the whole entire house, and then you got this giant piece of real estate in front of the house that looks just a little, a little off. And then he pays a little extra for us to, you know, mask it off and then paint it because it just looks lame. So anyway, but we had really good success with that. And let us take a swing at your door and see how we do. Okay. JT, do you have to take the garage door off by Fourth of July? No. Even though it's inside. Yeah. The no, no garage door removals. <laughs> <laughs> no, they like them to work. Just mask them. All right. Any other questions? Yeah, Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you.